And we have seen several celebrities come out and endorse either Kamala Harris or Donald Trump for president. And with the growing trend of social media, now some influencers claim that they are getting asked to endorse candidates for big bucks. Yeah, the question here is, are there rules against paying influencers to show support for a specific candidate? WCNC Charlotte's Megan Bragg verifies. Well, this is YouTube star Tana Mojo. She has 8.4 million followers on TikTok and has a podcast called Cancelled. On that podcast, she claims she was offered money to endorse a candidate. So what are the rules when it comes to campaigns and influencers? Let's get the facts. Hypothetically, was just offered a lot of money to endorse a political party, like millions. A story Tana Mojo told on her podcast, Cancelled. So we are looking into the rules of political ads and influencers. Our sources for this is the FCC, Winthrop Political Science Professor Scott Huffman, TikTok, and the Federal Election Commission. Huffman says when it comes to politics and influencers... Kind of a wild west out there. Right now, the Federal Elections Commission, which oversees campaign finance law, doesn't have clear disclosure rules for influencers like it does for traditional advertising. In 2023, the FEC wrote about the issue saying campaigns only have to disclose payment to firms booking the influencers, but they don't have to disclose the influencers being paid by the firm. Huffman says most of the influencers are getting paid from political action committees, not a candidate's campaign itself. For the most part, the Federal Election Commission is just not enforcing them. Again, it's unclear how enforcement would work, first of all, and many of the rules were put in place about products. So the question is, is a candidate a product? So an influencer, especially if they're talking about issues, don't have to say this, you know, message was paid for by, you know, like a, a television ad would have to, whether it's a candidate or a political action committee. That may be coming down the road. TikTok currently bans political ads from paid influencers, but in a statement from TikTok, they said undisclosed political advertising from influencers continues to be an issue. With your Verify, I'm Megan Bragg. This election season, we have already gotten a lot of questions, emails even surrounding the races, the candidates, and the election process. We are here to verify those claims. So please keep sending them in. That's exactly what our Verify segments are for, to find the facts and filter it out from the fiction. So if you have something our team should look into, you can send us an email to verify at WCNC.com or reach out to any one of us on social media.